Welcome back, everyone, to Deus Ex Human Revolution. And get Pritchard on the line. Oh, that was rough. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. All right, are these guys cool? Go now. I won't okay. Say it again. So you're so you're mostly cool. Okay. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Huh. Okay. So you're just not letting me in there. Oh, that's where I was. Duh. That would make sense. Okay. So in today's episode, we're going to do something a lot less stressful. And we're going to go do this secondary objective. Go meet up with the boyfriend, I think. Or the former boyfriend of the former friend of Malik. Oh. oh, oh yeah, go to the limb clinic. That's what we're doing. That's right. We have to go to the limb clinic because somebody's got information there. Mr. Anonymous X. Who's... Oh, that's the other objective. Oh. That was super stressful. Oh. So I've just got to find this dude. Is it you? Wait. One moment. You are not a harvester. We have had the occasional problem with them stealing from limb clinics. Yeah. Okay, what? Meet the limb contact. Evelyn Carmichael, a good friend of Malik's, died recently. She's asked me to meet a mysterious contact who works at the Hingsha Limb Clinic. He's using the name Anonymous X and has offered to give her. Okay. I'm supposed to be able to identify him by the hat he's wearing. Forgot about that little tidbit. All right, any hats in there? No hats in there. Um, what? Is he behind the counter, maybe? Oh. <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. I was close about the fedora. Um, nice hat. I'm here for Evelyn's autopsy report. Be impatient. <laughs> Dismissive death and taxes. Uh, yeah, let's be professional about it. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right. What now? <laughs> they have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Okay. Oh. This dude's special, man. He is special. <laughs> if this game weren't so old, I'd say this was a social commentary on the anonymous nerds. But, alas, it is... I th I'm pretty sure this game pretty well dates anonymous. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. All right, turn left, down the stairs. There you are. Okay. What are you buying? Over here. Yeah, Come on now. I'm right here, dude. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. <laughs> right. Well, so not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumbed to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? Uh, a little piece of advice. A little piece of advice. When attempting to extort money from someone, 
Don't give them what they want before trying to rip them off. What? What? You you mean you're <laughs> yeah, not going yeah, to pay? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I risked yeah, everything yeah. to get you that file. Chalk it up to a learning experience yeah. and move on. You, you, you scoundrel! You'll regret this someday. You just, you just mock my words. Watch him become like X. Watch him become like some like super hacker dude who like comes after me. All right, so I need to <clears throat> read Evelyn's autopsy. Okie doke. Uh, this one. <clears throat> all right. Mental note. After extraction, remove all traces. All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that the good men do nothing. X. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's such a classic. Like, oh, man. They did great with his character. <clears throat> all right. Ev Evelyn Carmichael, 23 years old, female. Uh, craniocerebral injuries, scalp contusion, uh, linear pattern of lacerations of right side of skull, linear pattern of laceration on right cerebral hem hemisphere, uh, sub <clears throat> subarachnoid. Okay, so this is a whole bunch of stuff I don't understand. Cause of death of this 23 year old female is asphyxia by seizure associated with craniocerebral trauma and intracranial hemorrhaging. Addendum. Quantitative blood tests revealed a high level of HCG, human, uh, human chorionic, chorionic gonadotropin in the subject's bloodstream, a hormone produced during the early stages of pregnancy. Further examinations confirmed the presence of first trimester fetal development. All oh, that's sad. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Nice. Yes, I want to go to his apartment. <clears throat> Just face him head on. He didn't want to have a baby, be a baby mama, or a baby. Um, whoops. Hey, have I been in here? Have I been in your storehouse? I have not. Thank you. Um. Okay. So no, he's. Where is he at? Up and oh man, he's oh he's in the Yuzao district. Okay, so I can go this way. Why are you not just telling me to go through here? That seems awful silly. Oh wait, does this not take me to the Yuzao district? I thought this. To oh, here we go. I was about to say, I guess I can't just open a door to no subway. So yeah, that would make sense. Everything okay? Or a yell. Okay, never mind. Okay, so of course he's in an apartment upstairs. Somewhere. Funny I can get behind this barricade. These people can't get to their apartment though. Watch it be that same apartment area as before. Uh oh. I'm not going to be able to get there from here, am I? No. My bad. Go around. Um, no, I don't think I can go that way. I could just check the map, but, you know. That's for sissies, like I said before. Okay. See ya. All right, so up that way. What's this here? This goes up. No, I don't want to go to the Qui-Gon district. So I think I need to go... I think I need to go up this... Yeah, and I go across that bridge. Okay. Now I know exactly where I'm going. <clears throat> I was right. It is right where I'd been before, just over the bridge. Through the woods. To deadbeat boyfriend's house we go. There we go. Aha! Nice little patio you got out here. Can I just knock? No. Okay. All right, let's break in, shall we? 
Okay, uh, so I need to get up there. It's an interesting system. Um, let's not worry about nuking. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Oh, I'm gonna need to disconnect. I went the wrong way on that one. Okay, let's, yeah, let's nuke this one. Cause I gotta go up and around. All right, so let's go ahead and start working on this one and then work on this one as well. Now that one, now that one, now that one just for kicks and giggles, and that one, and then here. You got this, you got this, you got this, bam! Got a stop worm. All right, is he in here? Fine, oh, it says find Lee, okay. I'm determined one of these days there's going to be something behind the fridge. And if not, everybody's just going to call me the fridge bandit. Oh, I can't get on his computer. That's a shame. Can I hide in his closet? Boom, boom, ding, 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 boom. I oh, gosh, I haven't heard that song in forever. Hmm. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Like on his computer. We're trapped in his closet. Uh oh. Oh, hack. Duh. <laughs> Actually, I'm guessing that now it pro oh. Hey Lee, baby. Can't wait to see you tonight. But I'm stuck at work. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, baby. I promise. I'll meet you at the hive, okay? Just don't get a party started without me. I want you all to myself tonight. The hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't <laughs> like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. <laughs> Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Roger that. Like on the computer, but I'm just curious if I... Ooh, the baseball bat. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. I keep saying that, but I'm not really seeing anything else other than the computer. I was hoping I might be able to find, like, you know, a security card or something to it. Just because that's more fun than just flat out hacking it. Alright. Hacking we go. Alright, level two. Two, four attempts. Oh, man. And we need to get there. Okay. That shouldn't be too terrible. Alright, he's on to us. Let's get here. We should get it. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. Access Beautiful. Granted. All right. Um, liberty and mind and body. Codson Lim. Hi, Lee. Your father wanted me to forward this to you. It's the quarterly report concerning your family's recent investment in Lim. P.S. I'm still waiting on the financial statements from Bell Tower Associates. They are surprisingly tight-lipped when it comes to business. But then again, I'm not surprised. They are privately owned, after all. Still, considering your father's um, executive holdings, you'd think they'd be more forthcoming. P.P.S. We still on for Friday. Winky face. Donna. The company reported stronger than anticipated quarter. Four two, okay, or Q427. Great. Our target multiple for the company's blah, blah, blah. Uh, do not disgrace us. My son, your behavior as of late has been disgraceful. Up until now, I have done everything in my power to support you and protect you. But my patience is running thin. 
If you do not change your embarrassing lifestyle, I will have no choice but to remove you from both the company and family, meaning no more financial support or immunity. Your dishonor, or you dishonor us all with your whoremongering. P.S. Your mother is well, but she's disappointed. I suggest you apologize to her. Send flowers. Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Oh, okay. There, there must be something that spawns. Another voicemail? No. Okay. Maybe that's it? What was that? Something up there? No. Okay, no. It, it's showing me that it's all done. Right? <clears throat> Search Lee's apartment. What? What else are you wanting me to find? There's nothing here. There's nothing. Can I get in the tub? I need a bath. Hmm. What? What was that? Is that something? Oh, use the faucet. No, that's not anything. Use the toilet. Okay, I'm not there be something else in here? No. Okay, that's frustrating. They're telling me, hey, oh. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. <gasps> Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Alrighty. Uh, since we had a long episode last time, we're going to do a shorter episode this time. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time when we head back to the hive. Adios. Goodbye.